Spray paint art quick tips. Whew. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Spray Paint Art Quick Tips. Today I'm going to be talking about the number one thing I get asked most about and that would be poster board. A lot of people ask about poster board because they've tried it on other surfaces and it doesn't work nearly as well. They're not getting the right textures, they can't manipulate the paint, and so on and so forth. I had this problem for about the first year or so when I started painting. I didn't know what surfaces to paint on, what was good to use, what wasn't good to use. I always paint on non-glossy poster board. It was just basically like thick like printer paper. So already if you're watching this video you should know that that's not the right thing to use. Now this is what I hear that most spray painters use, not all of them, but just from my experience what I've heard that most of them use is glossy poster board. The reason why glossy poster board works so much better than just matte finished poster board, I actually have some pictures showing from when I used just matte finished or non-glossy poster board as opposed to uh, glossy poster board. The reason why it works better is because since it has a glossy surface, the post, uh, not the poster board, the paint doesn't soak into the poster board, so therefore you're able to manipulate the layers for several minutes, you know, scraping away uh, for trees and rocks, able to create nice textures and things like that. The way that the paint reacts to the glossiness seems to work better. If you're using non-glossy poster board, the paint soaks right in and you can't manipulate the layers. Now, you can get other textures, <clears throat> you can get other effects and textures using non-glossy poster board, but it doesn't work as well for all the things in general. You can't really make mounds with them, you can't really scrape away for trees, you can't really make ground textures all that well, but you can get other desired textures. Now just because glossy poster board is the recommended and preferred thing to use, it's not the only thing you can use. My general rule of thumb, if it's glossy, you can paint on it. So you can use glossy poster board, you can use glossy foam board, you can use walls that have a glossy coat of paint on it, now, if you're going to do that, make sure you have the person's permission or don't do it because it's, you know, illegal and that's tagging. You can paint on glossy metal, you can paint on vehicles, you can paint on the sides of trucks, refrigerators, whatever. The main reason why glossy poster board is used is because it is very inexpensive and it's not, if and it's something that if you screw up on it, you're not gonna, you know, have to pay a lot out the nose in order to replace it like a vehicle or a wall. Another good thing about glossy poster board, it comes in larger sizes, so all the paintings that you see in my videos are either half sheets or quarter sheets of an entire sheet of poster board. So you can make about four or five paintings out of one main sheet, and one sheet costs less than a dollar. Now that brings me to my next point, where do I get my poster board? A lot of people from other countries like New Zealand, Australia, and you know, the UK have asked me, you know, it's not called poster board here, what is it called, where can we get it, and things like that. Now, I don't order mine offline. I can usually find my poster board in Walmart, Target, craft stores, Walgreens, anything like that. And it's usually under a dollar. I buy a bunch of sheets of it. But a lot of people from other countries don't have a cold poster board. Now, some things you can use, you can use photo paper. It costs a little bit more, but it's already cut into the right sizes that you need. Other than that, I can probably provide some links in the description. I would just look online at Amazon things like that. You can usually buy a poster board in bulk, like 100 sheets for like 30 bucks. Now hopefully that covers any and all questions that you guys have about poster board. You want to make sure it's glossy, inexpensive, and you can buy it online or just at any other regular craft or general stores. Anyways guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Spray Paint Art Quick Tips. Hopefully you can all stop bugging me about poster board now. Doodles!